We are in conversation with Dr. Srikant, who is the MD and CEO of MediGlobe, a medical tourism organization. Dr. Srikant, it's a pleasure talking to you today. Can you give us a brief about MediGlobe and its vision? Yeah, MediGlobe is a licensed medical tourism organization in this part of the world. See, medical tourism basically is a process where a patient travels from his home country to other country to get a accessibility of high quality medical care. Whereas the industry size is very big, as that says, it's almost about $100 billion of industry. But then it is not organized in many countries. The vision of MediGlobe is to make the medical tourism industry in a very organized way. And especially we established here since last four years with the headquarters in Dubai, we have nine global offices starting from America to Ghana, it's an African countries. And we predominantly focus on bringing highest quality of medical care in respect to destination countries. And how does MediGlobe position itself uh, as the medical tourism company which differentiates it from other competitors? And what is uh, your key vision? What are the key milestones the organization has achieved in last four years? So the first two difference is, unlike regular medical tourism facilitators who just think of connecting a patient a particular hospital or a doctor will try to evaluate the entire case. So in one way, we are very differentiated from other countries wherein we do something called as patient journey mapping. So it is a process of hand handing of the patient starting from the initial contact once they came to us, whether it is an oncology case, an orthopedic case. What we do is we'll try to differentiate a diagnosis based on the initial teleconsultation what we give them and we'll try to educate them regarding how they have to go to a foreign country on a medical visa, not on a visit visa. A lot of medical tourists doesn't understand the importance of going to a country, destination country for treatment with a medical visa. If they go on visit visa, they cannot be getting those kind of any diplomatic importance if anything happens. We also give them the legal support. We also give them the complete handhelding starting from their attachments to us till the post-operative care. This is how we differentiate. Now, we not only take care of the B2C, that is uh, patient care, we also take care of the institutions. So how do you partner with the healthcare providers worldwide? Okay. And what are the examples of your successful collaboration? In this collaboration, what we do is, we first will take care of only those hospitals which are having accreditations. So we'll take JCI accreditation as a standard for our association. JCI is a gold standard accreditation from uh, Joint Commission International. So by positioning ourselves where we are working only with the JCI hospitals, we are promising the highest quality of care to the patients. So this is how we... So do you also work with medical insurance companies to facilitate the treatment for the patients? See, here it's a very interesting topic because previously there are two kind of scenarios. Are there like pre-COVID and post-COVID. Pre-COVID, most of the medical tourism is about most of elective in nature, cosmetic in nature, dental, dermatological like that. But post-COVID, tertiary care got an importance. Like for example, oncology, complex medical care and all. But here the insurance point is not mostly covered in abroad cases mostly. Yeah. So what we are trying to talk to the insurance companies to add medical tourism is one of the services in the uh, insurance That's, that's really interesting yeah. to know and I think it will change really the dynamics of the yes. insurance and the health industry. Yes. Uh, when we talk about innovative practices for medical tourism, yeah. are there any specific innovative practices you know, which you are implementing to enhance the experience of the patient. Yes, see, uh, example, there are certain countries are there in which stem cell treatment is not available. So that is innovative technology we bring in. So especially for multiple sclerosis, some of the chronic conditions, we offer stem cell treatment also. Yeah. So that is what innovation. Second, we introduce for the first time ECP technology, which is for the non-invasive method of treating the blockage of the heart. So there are several like in sports medicine also. So you are implementing a lot of innovative technologies That's how, for how a vision is. patient journey. Every industry, when we talk about medical tourism, it also has a lot of challenges. Yeah. So we have some regulatory challenges. We have a lot of challenges. So according to you, being a medical tourism company, what is one key challenge which you face in your journey? See, the key challenge I must say is the first operative care. Most of the hospitals, once the surgery is done, they leave the patient. It yeah. is the responsibility of the facilitator in order to take care post-operatively. So if I say the pricing, which is initially told to the patient in a medical program versus the real ending of the expenses is much more uh, higher. It is most of the countries it is a problem. So if I 
I'll tell you the key challenge key challenge is not having a proper ballpark figure uh, for the treatment you have rightly said you are uh, present in nine countries talking about expansion do you have any further plans to expand in any other countries no currently we are working with the countries like romania where yeah. we are one of the part of the consortium where we are developing a smart health city in romania and uh, recently we were contacted by the ambassador of uh, azerbaijan also where we are trying to develop a smart health city azerbaijan also so and even india is coming up with one uh, health hub in hyderabad which okay. is the place where i belong sure. from sure. so there they are uh, developing a uh, medical tourism hub so we are ready to give our consultancy services to them to develop the entire landscape of how a medical tourism hub has to be oh that's really wonderful and we wish you all the very best thanks a lot for talking thank to medi world medicine thank you